do some research because this is something that is becoming it's increasingly taking over society and especially homes over the last couple of months we've been talking about the boy child and the way they're going through so much we've been talking about kids of now there's not having hope and we've totally forgotten about the girl child I think we all agree that we've all ignored and abandoned and neglected the girl child well there's something happening and this trend is something we must arrest because the girl child has grown up been neglected yeah because we've all concentrated on the boy child so what they've become in their singing i quote unlike in the past where women were motherly and loving caregivers today many women are balls of fury verbally verbally combative and irritable they explode at the slightest provocation michael swati you did a fantastic article it's called the angry woman syndrome for the last few years we've just concentrated on the boy child we've said we've empowered women too much and because of that neglect and because so much is expected of the girl child to be submissive to not argue to be obedient we are now breeding this breed of ladies who are furious with everything in their lives they're verbally combative they're irritable they explode at the slightest provocation reminded me of an incident i saw a couple of weeks ago in a restaurant mm. where this woman just went ballistic yelling at her husband i don't know what he had done and there was no way i was gonna ask Let's talk about angry women this morning. What's making you angry, girls? And why do you shout at people? Why do you find it difficult to talk to your man without shouting? And you do it in public. And even in public. What happened to that calm, you know, mother-like hmm? character? You no, know, the same way you never saw your mother shout to your father. What happened to that lady, that woman, the woman of virtue, the one who Proverbs 31? That calm lady, what happened? Was Quizzy Kwanza, hey, I'm going to go to the movie. The movie. Cinema. Even the way they order around the waiters. In a restaurant. Some cannot stay with a house girl for more than six months. They fire them right, left, and center. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. So why are they angry? Ladies, why are you angry? And bitter. And what are you bitter about? Maybe you can help us understand. Because why can't you speak in a low tone? Now you your pressure do an appellate back office. Wow and you if your boss is a lady. It's a pressure. One day do you have a pressure at a muneza footwa. Let's talk about the angry woman syndrome. Nini hmm? nimevanywa? Eh? What's not happening? You know women used to be calm, very polite. Our mothers. Have you ever had your mother shout to your dad? Although you no. Be... I've never even had a shout at anyone. Yeah. Yes, even up to today. Never had a shout at anyone. Where we had to school fees cool fish ngambo. You look at our police. Na liju me kula. But then she never shouted. Yeah. Mm. She didn't shout. Yeah. University me acha pesa me kula. <laughs> me ponda ra. <laughs> ha, ha. Can you leave me out of this and can we stick to the topic? No, she called me abia. Yeah, li endele na shule. London. And she was quiet. After she's calm. Nowadays, the ladies of nowadays. Eh? <laughs> ladies, why are you angry? Mm -hmm. Why are you balls of fury like you've been described here? Mm -hmm. Verbally combative and irritable. Why do you explode at the slightest provocation? And why do you have to shout at your man and everyone else around you? And why aren't you afraid of shouting even in public? Creating drama. <laughs> you can be in an office and you're yelling at the top of your lungs on the corridor. Hmm, movie. What's making you angry? Let's talk about that so we can understand you. 0711 is my number. Give me a call, Tafazali.
Send me that text message to double two four nine four if you want to contribute via SMS. So let's hook up on social media on my fan page on Facebook or my Twitter handles at it's my neck again or at classic one oh five Kenya. My hashtag is mine and kingangi. We're talking about they were chronicled yesterday in the standard drama queens unlike in the past they say when women were motherly and loving caregivers today many are balls of fury they are verbally combative and irritable they explode at the slightest provocation why is the question we're asking today how do you find it okay ladies to go yelling at your man or someone in the middle of the streets you don't feel like someone's looking at you or yelling at the top of your voice in the plot there was even a pastor who did something about that women in washing lines why can't you speak in a low tone a lot of people are saying minor this is the product of a breed of women who's been neglected we used to be all about the girl child then we abandoned and went all about the boy child Kevo, I can see what you've sent. A meme there of uh, Morgan, Freeman, Morgan Freeman saying toxic mothers are just as bad as absent fathers, but you're all not ready for that discussion yet. Are you an angry woman? What's making you angry? Nyata is innocent. Let me just go to your tweet saying, Hey, Bridia Wanawake, wa 21st generation is the toughest to deal with. Wana kiburi sana think ilianza pale kwa girl child akiwa empowered wakadhani wamefika that's been the problem Shefani Cheng is saying at first I thought these weird characters by women were hereditary only to find out now with this generation why that it's environmentally acquired syndrome it's something they are copying and adapting to be very bad girls Calvin Otoke is saying, I've heard of mad women, but I'm yet to see one. If someone out there is married to a mad woman who can't control their anger, leave them and run. Felix Sotino Agola, good morning to you. Saying with a high population of ladies, why don't all men punish such kind of ladies by not getting into relationships with them? Sharon Shannon is saying, when I'm angry, this is what happens. There's something that runs from the stomach to my voice box I breathe so fast and I feel like I should burst so for me let that anger so I for me I let that anger out I have to yell that's the way I feel much better let me just read that tweet again by Sharon Shannon when I'm angry this is what happens there is something that runs from the stomach to my voice box I breathe so fast and feel like I should burst so for me to let that anger out I have to yell that way i'll feel much better incredible what do you think hello Raina. hello good morning this one started when uh women's movement and leave started it started what happened was uh when women started earning uh. the mistake women make is that they assume that when you earn uh. you must shout you must do what to be seen to you know to, to be, be charged yeah the, the, what they don't realize is that uh, men, uh, the reason why men don't do that is that men have been earning and looking after families for a long time. Yeah. So they have realized that uh, you can do it in a quiet manner and be more effective than shouting. Now, when, when the women's leave came around and women started getting empowerment, yeah, a lot of women started bringing up their kids specifically that way. The, the girls who are being specifically told, You've got to do this. You cannot take this. You cannot take crap. You cannot take this. So they grew up on that uh, <coughs> on that menu. Oh, especially now the the current woman, because that, that's when she was a child. So so she that, grew uh, up being told, "Don't take this crap, men aren't whatever." Yes, your father is this. Your father is that. They they, they walk away. They do what. So they were specifically fed that uh, no. uh, that agenda. Everybody, all the women took their own personal problems to be uh, the, the, the overall problem for the woman. Wow. Hello? Yes, I can hear now, you. Yeah. Now, what was happening? Because, like I told you, I worked for a women's organization. Yeah. That was uh, quasi political and so forth. Yeah. And these are things that used to be seen. You know, and you know, you are there as a man and you are being told. And the women are being specifically, they used to have a specific program. Educating the younger woman at the university, educating the girls at school, doing that. And then the single uh, uh, parent thing came in. And there was a bunch of women who 
did it by who went to become single by choice. And, you know, they became the role models. People were like, look at what they're doing because they'll walk into the bar, go drink to show that you can be single and do what you want. You don't have to follow anybody's instruction. So basically, this thing was built over two or so generations. Now we are paying the price. This is a generation that was brought up that way. They don't know anything else. You don't, even if you are discussing just a normal thing, even with your sister in the home, leave her a, a girlfriend or something, your own sister in the home, is war. Every, every lady thinks you must go at war with the male, uh, with the male species for you to be relevant. Even look at our politicians. Exactly the same, the Karuas and all that. That was the area of that generation. But the problem is, they, they, they didn't learn the art of negotiation. They learned the art of being aggressive. And they know, if you quarrel, let's say you and one of the workmen, they are quarrel over an issue. Who will people believe? It's her. They'll believe her. If uh, a woman uh, shouts that man, uh, man has tried to rape me or man has done what, who will they believe? They'll blame the man. They'll blame the man. So everybody, even society has come to, society has come to a level where uh, they, they handle them uh, with gloves. And, and that is now the product we are paying. And it's a very, very dangerous trend because the killings, well, that's why you are seeing a lot of these killings of young men killing girls because the girls don't realize that in relationships, you, it's about give and take. It's a, it's a compromise. Okay, so our thanks. Is that true, ladies? That it started a long time ago. Are we reaping the fruits of that generation? Out angry women. There's some ladies, girls. Why do you feel the need to shout? You're in the street. You're shouting at your man. Why? They're saying unlike in the past, women who are motherly and loving caregivers today, many are balls of fury. with their verbally combative and irritable. They explode at the slightest provocation. Why is that? It's a story by Mike Kumswati. Mike, great stuff. Good job. They call, he's calling it the angry woman syndrome. Where did it all start? Because our mothers weren't like that. Sharon Channel is saying, those who are saying that yelling started today, they are so wrong. This is something that, has, that is innate. Every woman has it, if you ask me. So, Sharon, are you saying, can I then assume you're saying that it's just a matter of control? Putin, they're saying, to me, shouting is a way of showing you how I feel. When I'm angry, I will shout, and at the end of that, trust me, I'll be okay. We're not disturbed by anything. It's just our way of venting. Okay, Purity, do you have to vent on the streets? <laughs> That's just my question. Where do you feel the need to shout? Julu Akimani, good morning. You're saying I was like that. Uh, good girl. My mom, my teachers and friends can confirm until marriage changed me. Oh, Julie. Julie, inbox me your number on Twitter. I need to talk to you because I need your story. Say, now was that good girl? My mom, my teachers and friends can confirm until marriage changed me. Julie, I need to hear from you. Inbox your number to me on Twitter. Because I believe there's a lesson in your story. And maybe if you can say it, then people begin to understand that yenyewe, it's deeper than what people think. How serious? So talk to me, my dear. In the morning. Morning. I mambo ya shouting, ya women, mm. inatokana na lack of conjugal rights. You're saying women shout because of lack of conjugal rights? Yeah, nitakwambia ni kwa nini maina. Niambie. Mimi nilikuwa fresh kutoka form 4 wakati nimeingia town kutafuta job. Eh. Nikapata kazi ya nyumba. Eh. Ambayo nimefanya kwa 7 years. Eh. Na nimejua kwamba hiyo ni sababu juu huyu husband na wife amekuwa anakosana kila wakati kuhusu bed matter sana hata wanatoka kwa sitting room. Eh wakikosana sababu ya hiyo wime mwanamke anamwambia wewe si mwanaume kamili sijui nini ha sasa mimi nafanya kazi zangu yu mwanamke amesha korofishana na abuana kule ndani anakuja na niambia na wewe wache kuniangalia hivyo ama utoke wende zako haya sasa wakati anaoka manake alikuwa ni mwalimu yule bibi he akienda shule hata huko shule ni nasikia ni hivo hivo kwa sababu mimi nasema hii ni sababu shida inanganga pale kwa kitanda kwa kitanda 
nikiye inaanzanga hapo maina mimi wakati nime decide kuolewa eh. nimeamua hiyo mambo lazima nitaangalia sababu najua hiyo ndio shida shida si pesa shida si nini shida ni hawa watu wawili ambao wanakosana kutoka kwa bedroom okay asante sana maina wewe fuatilia tu alafu utajua hiyo ndiyo shida kuna shida shida si pesa manake hawa ni wanawake ambao wako na pesa shida si pesa haya sijawahi sikia hivyo shida ni pale kwa kitanda ndiyo fuatilia maina fuatilia mimi nimefuatilia nimeloa saa hii miaka saba nimefanya kazi ya nyumba miaka minane na najua hiyo ndiyo shida mimi natimiza mambo yangu kutoka kwa kitanda na sioni shida kama hiyo Huh? Okay. Asante sana maina kuwa na wakati mwema. Asante sana. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is that an eureka moment? I have never I didn't even imagine that that would even be an issue. 